The Sixth Sense Project was created with the purpose of protecting firefighters, emergency responders, and police officers at times when every minute counts. How? A consortium of companies and scientists designed an innovative technological solution that involves installing sensors in the uniforms of all services that take care of people's safety day by day. Sensors on the uniform record the current physiological and psychological state of emergency service representatives in the field and report to the monitoring center whether the operatives are in optimal health during the operation. If they are exposed to any type of risk, the coordinators on the ground send the already prepared replacements so that the rescue operation is not jeopardized and that their lives are preserved. In case of emergencies such as fire, rescuers risk their lives to save their fellow citizens. But who saves the rescuers? One of the biggest challenges of Sixth Sense is we actually have more than eight completely different technological components, all of which need to be developed or advanced to some degree. All the first responders are operating at teams that are very closely knit. Even developing technologies for first responders requires extreme amounts of, of uh, teamwork. These kind of events are very important for the development of the whole project because it gives us the opportunity to gather members of the consortium in one place and to test uh, and integrate uh, all developments that we did in separate uh, smaller groups. It gives us also opportunity to work on the issues that we discover from the telecommunication part is very important to overcome these challenges that we have in uh, establishing uh, reliable communication in these extreme conditions. Just as Iron Man has his high-tech suit that notifies him when his vital signs are compromised, a rescue suit with an integrated biomonitoring system will notify field operators of dangers in real time, increasing the safety of our superheroes. So one of our main goals to help to develop the system to the point of using it, let's say on the ground with firefighters, it will help us in any way. Thereafter, we can make a very good plan of action for the next days. So we can say, okay, this guy is not possible in the moment. He is dehydrated or he is outside in cold temperature. It's too high. You have to rest. My work here is to uh, make cognitive tests. That means to understand the impact of a physiological strain to decision making. And also it's very important to have this integrated project. So we have from biosensors, a person that are networking the whole thing to the decision support. And in this sense, I think every partner is understanding better their own component, their own role. This project, which is a part of the Horizon 2020 program and lasts for 36 months, is financed by the European Union and is coordinated by the foreign organization Technalia Research and Innovation. 